So, it's Friday, and just finished out the first week of my second to last year of high school, because as some of you know, if you watched like the American education system video, I think it was, Aaron's a fuck up, I'm a fuck up, and I got somewhat behind, so I'm gonna graduate like a year behind my class. But anyways, so technically, technically I'm a 10th grader, but technically this is my 11th grade year since I'll have like so many credits at the end that that I'll be in 11th but like just past but like past 11th and at the end of next year I'll have enough to graduate so I'm going to completely skip senior year for me and that's fine because I don't really care about high school it's just army is like main goal for me that's like everything I got a haircut it's the one I normally get except I left it on longer on top than usual <sighs> I have like 10 classes this year and I'll have 10 classes next year on top of summer school and night classes and I'm doing a lot of shit and I haven't done a video yet just on hey back in school this and that just because I've been going to sleep the second I get fucking home <laughs> like I did my hair for like the first two and it, it looks fairly good I like it whenever I actually do it but I'm um, normally when I wake up in the mornings, I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> I just kind of like, like kind of get it off my forehead and like give myself one of these in the mirror and I'm out the door. <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, just wanted to say I'm back in school. So if my like level, my number of videos being pumped out like alters and like in a very big way, that's probably it. I'm trying to think if I have geometry homework and geometry fucking sucks. I thought it was going to be fun. I thought it was going to be a lot more about shapes. I was told geometry is like the simplest math because I'm fucking horrible at math. And I was like, oh, this is going to be great. Like I'm interested in shapes. I think that'd be cool. It has to do with building and stuff. Building is something that'd be interesting to me because other than the military, like the only kind of degrees I'd want is I'd want like go to tech school to be a paramedic. I was told it's tech school. If I'm wrong, oh well and go to tech school for like carpentry. Those are the only two things that I'd want to do because like I wouldn't want to do like full blown construction. I just think it'd be, well, I mean like it'd, it'd just be kind of cool to build like a doghouse or a shed or a cabinet like that or something. I wouldn't want to do like full blown fucking, <laughs> we're building a full fucking house today. I mean, it'd be cool to build my own house, but that's not something that I'd probably, I'd probably make myself so damn anxious and procrastinate and so much that it would never get done so and I'm in ROTC so shave I'm gonna be like pretty close shaved for the next several months because they've decided to step up grooming standards this year apparently after like two weeks a fuck up on groomings like they're gonna kick you out kind of doubt it kind of doubt they're gonna actually kick us out but fuck it i mean it's great so why not shave and for those of you that don't know why i would be in r2c is honestly i'm not a big fan of r2c i think it's somewhat boring and a lot of the people in there i'm just not very close to like i'm cool with them like it's cool we, we have the same class Sweet, we both decided we want to do the same extracurricular. Probably for different reasons, but still. They're just not my kind of friends. But I mean, like, if they need help, I'll help them out, I guess. And everything, but... Really, the whole reason I'm an ROTC is that you get a rank bump to the actual military after so many years of service in ROTC. And as far as I'm concerned, that's more money. And I'm not joining the military for more money, by any means. I really don't plan to be making a whole bunch of fucking money. Probably won't. I plan to save as much as possible. But probably don't. I'm not sitting here like, Dude, I'm gonna make so much money, bro. And they're gonna pay for college. No. I'm joining the military because I simply just want to serve my country. And that, and since a little kid, I can't think of a single other job besides making video games that I'd want. 
Turns out I suck at computers, so I'm not gonna do that shit. <laughs> um, if anyone else is still in school, good for you. You're still in school and you haven't dropped out. And that's amazing, because I know a lot of my friends fucking did. <laughs> they decided to say, fuck it. And it's great. I mean, that's good for them. I mean, if that's what they wanted to do. Some of them were given chances and this and that that involved, you get this if you drop out. And they took it, and whatever, good on them. Good on them that they took that opportunity. I have not been given an opportunity. If, they gave, if a recruiter came and knocked on my door right now and was like, World War III just broke out, and we want to draft you for like the rest of your fucking life. <laughs> please, please put me on the bus right now. I need it. <laughs> I want it. And birthday is ever closer ever so closer to being 18 and I just watched an interesting video on it was a TED talk I liked foes a lot and it was a dude and he was in Afghanistan I don't remember what valley he was in but it was like in the like full swing of us being in Afghanistan and it was like six months of like there being just shit tons of fighting going on in this six mile valley that he was in there was a couple of bad valleys in Afghanistan to my understanding <laughs> I don't know, I study World War II a lot more. I like World War II. I like the weaponry. Oh well. But, um, hmm. I'm fucking tired, guys. He was talking and he was like, why young, young men, when they come back from combat, they want to go back. And that was really interesting to hear why he thinks it is. And he pretty much chalked it up to boys being boys. He was like, he was like, chances are, he was like, a teenage boy is more safer in his local fire department or police station than he is walking around town looking for something to do. I agree with him, <laughs> especially when he said, because they're going to touch things they don't need to touch or catch things on fire that shouldn't be on fire. Like I said, I agree with him on that. I probably wouldn't have so many scars up and down my arms if it wasn't for just pure fucking boredom. Apparently young men are five times likely to expire as young men than young women just because we get fucking so bored. <laughs> He's like, it's supported hormonally, like just large amounts of adrenaline, like that's something young men crave apparently. <laughs> Funny, since I sit inside all fucking day and play video games. Whatever. <laughs> what the fuck ever. He said, and that still carries over to young men in combat, especially when they're in a valley and there's no TV, no Wi-Fi, no cars, and no women. So guess what? They get bored and start doing some dumb shit, <laughs> even when they're getting shot at daily. Uh, huh. Never thought, never thought about it like that. Now I'm worried I'm going to do something dumb. I'm like, you know, it'd be fun, guys. Let's drop a grenade in this well. Let's blow up this piano. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else remembers that scene from my mom, Fury, but that was funny. They're, they're bored and they just like killed like five or six Germans and they they blow up a piano with a hand grenade because they're bored and I'm like, me as fuck. I think you get in trouble for doing shit like that now. I think like they're like, you can't waste ordnance anymore. And in World War II, they're like, eh, come back whenever you're out of stuff and we won't ask what why you ran out of it. Don't have anything to talk about. If anyone has anything they'd like me to talk about, put that in the comments and I will surely do it. I also changed the setup in my room so my bed's not in the same place so I can look at my TV. And now I have, well, the same room that I have to pace. Anyway, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. And please drop a video in the comments so I can have something to talk about. Because I am so fucking frazzled. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing one about white slavery in America and if it was real, if it's not real. Because apparently there's, there's documents that say that it technically wasn't slavery. It was more like apprenticeships and forced labor as punishment for crimes. And there's other people that say that's bullshit, they just didn't want to document this, and here's some actual shit that proves that. I might do a video on that, because why the fuck not? 
That's something people don't hear about a lot, white slaves. In America and the West Indies and all this and that. And Turns out that's where we get the term redneck from, so that kind of makes me laugh. To know that there's some rednecks at school that call themselves rednecks all the time and it comes from white slavery. Uh, but yeah, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Stay lit, America.